Karina Brock, Children's Ministry Director here at First United Methodist Church. And I'm so glad you're with us for children's worship today. It's so good to see you. Hey, I like to start our mornings off by passing the peace. So turn to the people in your family, even if they're not in the room, go find them real quick because we need to pass the peace. Ready? Go. Remember social distancing. Awesome. And another thing we want to do is make sure we shout out our birthdays for March. We might not be together, but happy, happy birthday, friends. I hope you're having a great one. So we're going to continue our talk this month about forgiveness. And what is forgiveness? Forgiveness is deciding that someone who's wronged you doesn't have to pay. Last week, we did our best robot voice. But today, here's what I want you to do. I want you to say it in your best, best, and scariest voice. Ready and go. Okay, that was pretty scary, right? But so is the idea of not forgiving people. Have we got a story for you today? Some of our friends helped us make it. You're going to really enjoy it. Jesus told this story. A certain man had two sons. The younger son said, I want my share of the inheritance. The father split the inheritance between both sons. The younger son went off to a different country and blew all the money on luxurious living. When he ran out of money, there was a food shortage. He hired, so he hired himself out as a pig feeder. And, and he wanted to eat what the pig, what the pig was said, but no one would give him any of it. So then he thought, well, all the guys who work at my father's farm are, have more than enough food to eat, and I'm on the brink of starving to death. Why don't I go back to him and say, tell him I shouldn't be his hunt, just hire me at your best of hand. And so he went back, and the dad saw him before he saw the dad, and he ran out and hugged the son, and he said, the son said that he planned, I don't deserve to be here to call your son. Then, he, then the dad threw a party, and he, they had to kill a fat cat. He, and then, um, then the, the, you know, the older son who came out from the field said, I've been with you all this time, and this guy went out and blew all your money. Why should he get a party? You didn't even give me a, a skinny goat to play with my friends, to have a party with my friends with. He said, I know, but you were never, you were always here with me, and you were so that you were happy in inheritance. But, I forgot that part. Happy. He said, oh, we're throwing a party for him because he is lost. He was lost, and he's now found. Come inside, join the party. Hey, that was an amazing story. Let's give our friends a hand. Thank you, Mary Harper, John Thomas, Brian, and Emmy. That story was fantastic. And if you'd like to story tell for us another week, let us know. Email us or put it in the comment sections below. That was so much fun. But you know, here's the part of the story we really need to take away. Is that Jesus told this story because he really wants us to understand just how important forgiveness is. Even when we make huge mistakes, and I know I do, uh, it's important to remember that you still get forgiven. And that's our bottom line for today, guys. Everyone needs to be forgiven. God is always ready to forgive us. We just need to go to him and ask for forgiveness. No matter what we've done, those things big or small, God is always there with open arms to forgive us. And that also means, just like we said last week, we need to make sure and forgive others too and follow God's example of forgiving us. So let's go in prayer and close out our time together. God, thank you so much for this wonderful story told by our friends that Jesus told to show us just how forgiving you are, God. We know that no matter what we've done, you will forgive us with open and loving arms. Help us to extend that forgiveness to other people too and help us to remember that we can always go to you to ask for forgiveness. It's in your name we pray. Amen. So friends, when you're at home this week and you're getting in some arguments with your sisters and brothers and moms and dads, Make sure you're asking for forgiveness and giving forgiveness because that's our bottom line. God gives us forgiveness no matter what. And so I'll see you next time. Bye.